Everybody's talking about 5G, but no one here quite knows what it's going to be. Hey, I'm Matt Swider with Tech Radar, and today I'm getting a glimpse of the future with 5G. It's the faster internet that you're going to get one day soon. It's going to be 10 times faster than your current LTE connections, so it's way better than 4G. You probably won't even see that loading bar anymore, and it's going to be connected to more devices, so it's not just for your phone. It'll make your phone faster, sure, but it's also going to make your Internet of Things gadgets uh, you know, connected, finally, uh, with, with tremendous speed. So we're finally seeing 5G because the new radios are currently being developed and also something called carrier aggregation. So yes, you can subscribe to EE or Sprint or AT&T or T-Mobile. What if they all came together? So you have something like three networks coming together all at once and harnessing all that data and all that power. That's how you're going to get the faster speed. Okay, so here's the good news and bad news. The good news is 5G is everywhere here at Mobile World Congress. The bad news is it's not quite everywhere in the world. Uh, we're going to probably see it roll out in 2018, probably 2019 by the time most people get their hands on it. So they have a phase called pre-5G and, and then actual 5G. Uh, so it may be two years before you see it in your phone, but we're going to see it working in certain phones uh, in the interim. For example, the Snapdragon 835 processor by Qualcomm is going to have a X16 modem in it, and that's really just going to be the bridge to 5G and one gigabit speeds. Okay, so you may think your phone is plenty powerful enough, it's fast enough, but there are new technologies on the horizons. For example, everybody's getting into VR right now, but streaming content with 360 degree VR video, that's going to take up a lot of data, and that may be possible in the future. Right now, we're all tethered with a cable uh, attached to our heads for uh, you know, VR headsets. That can go away when we have streaming video, but it's going to take something like 5G to get there. So no surprise here, if you want 5G speeds, you're going to need a 5G phone. And we haven't seen too many official rollouts of 5G phones, but there are prototypes available, and you know, phones that kind of bridge their way to 5G. Uh, for example, the Sony Xperia uh, Z5 Premium, that has the X16 modem in it, so you know, it's gonna get faster speeds when, when that's available with your carrier. And also, ZTE is showing off what they say is the first gigabit phone, and they actually call it ZTE Gigabit, and uh, that is going to achieve faster speeds, and it's really just a concept right now, but we hope to see an actual phone with screen and running Android or you know other operating systems. So unlike 5G, we're here right now bringing you all sorts of videos about Mobile World Congress and the future of mobile gadgets. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video if you found it entertaining or informative, and keep it locked to techradar.com.